Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was just too engrossed in this wonderful little story called Tarzan of the Perkyoman. Come hither, for I will read it to you. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Tarzan. When Tarzan was younger, he was separated from his parents on a trip to the forest, and his parents never found him. But thank God, a family of dogs did, and raised Tarzan like he was their own pup. Tarzan was always with the dogs, and he learned their ways. He slept like a dog, ate like a dog, and lived like a dog. He was always with the dogs, whether he was hunting, playing, Sadly, the dog pack did not fully accept Tarzan. He was left out quite often. He knew he was different, but he never truly accepted it. It all changed one day. The dogs were always terrorized by the dangerous giant forest creature, and it would bully them for their food and territory. This particular day, the giant forest creature was terrorizing the dogs particularly terribly, and was holding Tarzan's dog father down, and ready to cause serious harm to the dog. Tarzan was trying to get this forest creature's attention and have it attack him so his dog father could be spared. But alas, it did not distract the creature. That's when his dog brother helped Tarzan realize that he was different. Tarzan saw his reflection in the water and looked deeply into it. He saw a different face, not a dog face. Tarzan turned around and saw his father getting beaten by the forest creature, and he was determined to make the creature pay. Hey! You! considered one of the pack, and was always welcome in dog activities. Finally accepted by the dogs, Tarzan did not feel at home. He felt he belonged somewhere else, not in the forest. One day, Tarzan was on a forest adventure, and he ventured all the way to the end of the forest. That is when he caught his first clip of the outside world. Tarzan curiously stepped out of the forest and went onto the mysterious black surface, asphalt. Tarzan kept on walking on the black surface and saw mysterious structures, which looked surprisingly comfortable. Inside the structures were creatures that looked just like him, watching a magic box that changed colors extremely fast. Tarzan kept on walking, discovering new objects and activities in which these people were taking part in. All of a sudden, Tarzan saw some person staring at him. It frightened Tarzan so badly. Then he started running, and a chase ensued. To Tarzan's relief, he escaped the creature. As he walked back to the forest, felt a little sad. He actually had a lot of fun on the outer edge of the forest. He needed help. Dad! Dad! What are you doing here? 
Tarzan, I saw you walking out of the forest. Sorry, Dad. I just need to know the truth. Tarzan, when you were younger, you were lost in the jungle. Your family looked hard for you, but they never found you. You were far away from them. We dogs had pity on you and took you in. We cared for you and raised you like our own. We didn't want you to leave. You were like our own son. You beat the giant forest creature and, and you had opposable thumbs. That's so cool. If I had those, I'd be so happy. But Tarzan, it's time for you to conquer the world of humans. I love you, Dad. Too, Tarzan. Dad, I'm not a dog. So it's time for me to go back to the world of humans. Tell the dogs that I love them. And I am off! Tarzan found his family and he lived happily ever after. That was a wonderful story, don't you think, children? I know I did. This is Sam Niles here with Schnile Story Corner. And remember, don't stop breathing.